Technical director Noah Anderson and our great camera operators, that would be Elias Moody, the great one, and Fernando Quintana as well. Good to have you guys. Round Valley this year, and he gained nothing on that play. Second down and 10. Ball at the 50-yard line. Owen Young wants it himself, and he gets stood up, hit hard. Third down play. Play action, throw, pass, caught, and the ball knocked out. Are they going to say incomplete? They do. Fourth down play, big play for Round Valley, opening up this second half. And Owen Young is going to roll out to the right. Chased. Marbello has him. He's got him by the ankles. A big play by Ethan Marbello. And he sacks the quarterback. And Blue Ridge will take over after a three-yard loss on that brilliant defensive play. Plays a lot. He's on the field a lot. Second down, eight. Option. London has it. And a first down. And he loses it. Ball is on the ground. He might have got it back. We'll see if he did. Averting disaster? No. Yeah, they're going to say, yep, he uh, wow. was able to cover it back up. Marked off. And the penalty was assessed. London gives. Franco Harris and his helmet comes off and he keeps fighting. Look at him keep going. Harris is going to have to sit out the next play after the helmet comes popping off. He says, good look at good look at that good looking young man right there. Ball in the red zone. Third down and short. London keeps and he's got a lane to the outside. He is going to waltz into the end zone as the entire defense bit on the fake to the fullback. 20 yard run for P.J. London, and that ties the game. Six apiece here in the third period. And our score is Blue Ridge seven, Brown Valley six in the third period. The Sports on Radio Game of the Week presented by Hatch Toyota. Seven to six, Blue Ridge leading Brown Valley. And they're gonna run off to near side. Franco Harris busting through tackles and gaining some gritty yardage. Big play here for both teams. Keep the momentum going for Blue Ridge. Third down, London back to throw, and he is going to be gobbled up. No, gets out of that tackle, but finally is chased down. Owen Young gets to him for the quarterback sack, and Round Valley able to drop him for a huge, huge loss. Boy, what a great punt to start the fourth quarter by P.J. London, muffed by the return man, and covered up by the Yellow Jackets. They make a huge special teams play and deep they gave that uh, receiver just too much time to think about it but what a great job by, by pj great punt fourth down and nine four down territory they're throwing back to throw looking right throwing sticks route pass caught reese disparza he's got the first down and a bunch more as well big play on the connection from london to esparza wind the clock nine minutes left ball at the four yard line here we go Motion left side, toss sweep to Mitchell, and he is swarmed by that Round Valley defense. They stopped the clock for whatever reason. I thought he stayed in bounds. And they're going to run a little misdirection in the backfield. Seth. Ball loose, fumbled oh, wow. on the ground. The Yellow Jackets have it. Ethan Marmello pounces on the loose football. The name we need to remember, Micah Heisler. Yep, what a great game he's had. Option, Yellow Jackets, and it's played perfectly by the Round Valley defense. And is Riley Hamblin coming up to tackle the pitch man. First down play, the ball, the nose of the ball just inside the 20-yard line. Blue Ridge 7, Round Valley 6, back to throw. P.J. slips, and wow. that's the tackle. There's the open lane. P.J. goes in. That's a touchdown. The Yellow Jackets lead 13-6. to Wow. Here's the kick from P.J. London. It's away. It's fielded at the nine-yard line. And a broken tackle. Cut back there into open field. And still on his feet across the 40-yard line is the Round Valley return. Formation, a receiver to the right. And there's another option. Will Bank breaking a couple of tackles. First down for him. Across the Yellow Jacket 40 and across their 35. What a nice run that by was Owen point. Young. Yeah, that was Owen. Two receivers left. Slot formation that side. Will Pink has it, trying to pick his way through the defense, but not a lot going to happen right there. How about the jump by Ryan Cox? Because Blue Ridge was not really rushing the quarterback at all. They stayed at the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to rush. 
a three-man front, and Owen Young will tuck and keeping himself, and he's like two steps beyond the line of scrimmage, throws deep to the end zone. I'm looking for a flag, and here it oh, comes. Yeah. He was beyond the line of scrimmage. Yellow Jacket offense. They're going to give it to the fullback, and he gets wrapped up right there, and he's going to make a lean, get, get the lean. I think he got ball. it. Yep. I, I think he got it. Franco Harris. It's been a while since I've seen one. Wow, it was close. It was really close. And if they win, are they the 3A East region champions? Hand off to Damon Mitchell, and that is a first down for Damon. Fighting and battling, a little dangerously so, I'm going to say, on an eight-yard gain. So look at this. We're only down by seven. And look at that round Valley line. They're coming after it. They're coming after it. And another kneel down, and that's it. That's all it's going to take. The celebration will commence for the Blue Ridge Yellow Jackets. They're going to get a win tonight. Coaches. They don't want to shake hands, and the uh, Yellow Jackets are waving bye-bye. Interesting. Interesting that they wouldn't opt to shake the hands of their valiant opponent, the Blue Ridge Yellow Jackets. Tonight. I don't know what's gone in, what, what is behind that.